page three, I'll stand by you. We're in C position again, all the white notes, no sharps or flats, nothing. Uh, we're 4-4 four, four times, so we're counting to four. There's four beats in a measure. You're counting quarter notes. Okay. Take it one hand at a time. Make sure we got the notes and the rhythms and all that first. Right hand, you have a whole note. It says four counts. One, two, three, four. And then... One, two, three. So you're resting on three. One, two, three. Make sure each whole note gets four counts now. Don't cheat it. Uh, for the most part, that's it. Let's go down to the last line. F measure 14. Remember the numbers in the little boxes are measure numbers. So that they only put them at the beginning of the line because you can count across from there. They don't have to put them on every measure. Which is nice because if you decide, I mean, you have some music and you want to number the measures, well, just put the numbers at the beginning of each line. You don't need them on every measure. So measure 14. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. So you have a rest on beat one. One, two, three, four, one. You're ending on an E. That's interesting. In the left hand, you got these chords. You have C chord. Try and get all these notes down at the same time. Just lower the whole hand. You got your hand, your fingers down that you want, and you just lower the whole hand down gently. Three, four, and then two measures later, you're not using the C. Now it's just the E and the G. That's still a C chord. Take my word for it. Okay. Measure five. Now it's a D and an F. And then two measures later, it's. Again, now we're not using the E. Well, actually, the E's in the other hand. That's and then an F and a G. And yes, you play them at the same time. The, they can't put them directly because they over they, there isn't room, so they have to offset them a little bit. They're touching. Play them at the same time. Three, four. That's pretty much it till you get down to the last line. Take, uh, well, the last line is measure 15. You got one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and then an E, G, D. See, the bottom note's moving, but the top note's the same. It's a nice effect. Put the hands together here. One, two, three, four. So on B3, the right hand comes up and has a rest. The left hand has to stay down for the whole four counts. So it's one, two, three, four. And then when you play the next measure, the G, the left hand comes up because it's done. So again, one, two, three. Go down to the last line, measure 14. I keep skipping the third line because it's very similar to what we've already done. So 14. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. So those D's are by themselves. The left hand has a rest. Again. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. basically how it works. Now I'm going a little fast. You take it at your speed, but go through and make sure you have all the right notes, and then go through and get rid of any hesitations you have anywhere. If you're hesitating, you work on that spot like that. Let's say, for instance, I'm hesitating uh, on measure seven, or going in, uh, measure six is here, and I hesitate here before I play that, because that you know, room is not there. Well, I want to practice those measures until I can get that. I want to go from here to here. I'm going to have to practice that. So make sure I can do that. And then I practice that measure. To make sure.
sure I got that. No hesitations anywhere. And when I'm pretty sure I got it, then I go on to the next hesitation and work on that. And then as I'm playing it or practicing it, if I do hesitate somewhere, then I know, oh, I didn't fix that yet. It's still there. I got to work on it some more. Get rid of the hesitations. We need a steady beat. There's a saying in music. It's okay to miss a note occasionally. It isn't really, but okay. But don't mess up the rhythm. Now, that is, don't mess up the beat, whatever you do. So, yeah, make sure your hesitations are gone. And when you can do that, as slow as you want to go, now add the dynamics. Well, it starts out MF, which is moderately loud, mezzo forte, medium loud, sort of loud. I don't, it's not loud, it's just sort of loud. It's on the loud side of the middle. Whatever. And it's the melody. These chords need to be soft. Can you do that? Can you play this soft and this a little louder at the same time? I'm putting more weight on the melody note. That this, the other is very light. The trick is to get them down at the same time though. That takes practice. You won't get it at first, probably. Most people don't. A few people do. That's disgusting, but sometimes they do. Just keep working on it because over time, maybe years, I don't know, it comes. So just keep after it. So it's here. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm keeping this left hand real soft throughout the whole thing. And the right hand, they don't give you any other dynamic but moderately loud. Well, again, you got to get comfortable enough with the piece that you're not thinking about notes and rhythms and anything. Really, you're listening to the music and then feel the dynamics. Feel the music. If you want to get a little louder in places or a little softer in places, go for it. It's called interpreting the music. As far as speed goes, well, if you were going to sing it, how you can find recordings of this, I'm sure. One, two, three, four. Now you say one, two, three, four. That's not moderately slow. Well, when we talk speed, we're not talking the beat. We're talking the overall feel of the piece. melody you play them both softly the last note the C where the the word is the song ended there this other is just like a little tag on the end just play it all softly yeah. so it's to, both hands are the same it's my impression of it I'd like to play it with you very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics, louds and softs. I'm just going to we'll play both hands the same because I need you to, you to hear them. And you can do it one hand at a time if you need to, but let's just make sure you got the right notes. Because if you're playing a wrong note and there's nobody around, how do you know you played a wrong note? You play with me. If it's different than my note, take my word for it, it's wrong. <laughs> I'll give us four counts. Did I say that? I can't remember. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four.
three, four, off. <laughs>